Wisconsin. Go ahead, and show Bishop. Out. Amen. Yes. How scholarly they are. Paul said, when I came to you, I didn't come with an excellency of speech. Go ahead. But I came in a power yes. and a demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Praise the word, Bishop. We can't be that the world. And here you know, is not impressed because I got a ring on. And I got a golden chain on and a cross. What backs the devil up is the anointing. And the Bible said, Jesus went about doing good. And he didn't know that was sick and oppressed by the devil because God was with him. In this season of corruption and pollution, and when the forces of the devil have lifted the up the head, amen, captain our children and breaking them into all kind of vile sin. We need, my God, to go back to holy praying. You already have to desire. Yeah, see, our children are being captivated and captured by the mindset of the most vile thing that's happening from television, amen, from all other vices. Uh, but if the saint go back to pray and pray for the power of the Holy Ghost, our way of children will come back home. Y'all want to hear me this out? All right. And we, we need to ask God, Lord, do it again. Do it again. You have to say, Lord, do it again. Lord, Lord do it again. again. And the Bible said concerning, amen, David. David received his first anointing. Yeah. Uh, when, when, yeah, when the prophet said to Dad, bring the other boy in because uh, all of these boys have passed by me. And I got some anointing all. Yeah. Amen. God sent me here to anoint somebody. Amen. One of your sons, my God, to be the next king. And our old boy came up there look, looking like old boss and had physique. Looked like, my God, ought to be a king. But the all would not flow. And he said, Do you have another son? He said, Well, I got one other boy. Another side of the mountain. Yes. He's out there minding the sheep. And Samuel said, Bring him in here. I can't anoint. I tell you, because God told me to come here and anoint another success. And the Bible said he came in and smelled like sheep. Dirty, muddled up. But when he came before the prophet, the all stopped flowing. I was there, somebody help me somehow. Man, they take it from one perspective. But God looked at the heart. You got to be anointed before to the next level. And the next time they were anointed, my God, when, when the Bible said when he came to Hebrew and, and he was anointed, by his brother. But the third time, he was anointed. Everybody came together. As each lever, you got to be anointed. You'll be a great servant in the kingdom of God. You got to be anointed. So Jesus said, an example of the spirit of the Lord is upon me because God has anointed. Thank God for my degrees and accolades. But you got to be anointed. All right, all right. To do the work of the kingdom. For the kingdom suffered thousands. Five or ten and five or four. But the power. I think the power makes the difference. The anointing makes the difference. The anointing is the thing that helps us to do ministry. The anointing is the thing that helps us carry out the gospel plan. You can't preach without the anointing. You can't teach without the anointing. You can't serve without the anointing. Oh, I was 
Somebody help me here. I'm, I'm totally out here. But to be anointed by God. Yes, Lord. You got to stay anointed. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You got to stay yes. in his presence. Yes. To be anointed by God. Yes. You got to prove to him yes. that you really want to do his work. Yes. And the Bible said, he called you yes. and you didn't call him. Yes. He's Lord and Master. Yes. He got to pay for your ministry. Yes. And some of y'all will leave, leave here today with aspirations to be a pastor. I'll be an evangelist helping somebody. But God got your plan. He's the one that orchestrates your destiny. But you can't move from where you are to the next level without your knowing. You need God to do something on the inside. Oh, help me somebody. And the Bible said, yeah, the heal those that are sick and the sick free those that are captive. I got to sit down. I got to, got to sit down. But the Bible said to also preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Well, what that mean? It means preach jubilee. Preach God will make a difference. Preach death cancellation. Preach a new beginning. Preach this is the time and the season for you to be blessed over and above. And the Bible said in the book of Isaiah, Fresh oil. Hallelujah. Oh, In Jesus' name. 